All right, hello, hello. Thank you for watching me uh, play Amnesia. I believe we're on episode 10. It's been a couple days since I last played, and uh, all right, we're in it. Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. All right. Apparently, as soon as he, uh, as he led me through in the, uh, the previous life, uh, he just, uh, he told his boys to, uh, trash the place. I mean, I understand. As every time I leave a room, that's not my house. That's what I tell everybody around me. I, I make a lot of friends. I make a lot of friends. People invite me back all the time. All right, let's get this bad boy out of here. Uh, when when you think when you need a lumberjack, am I right? Is, isn't that a, a hot and relatable statement to say to appease the masses? God, lumberjack jokes, am I right? Piece of wood. Fuck yeah. All right, I don't want to light that. I have 17 tender boxes. Damn, I'm doing good. I'm a okay over here. Let's take this back. Oh, I can pick this one up. I can just chuck it. Oh, uh, there's lucky a monster wasn't over there. I could totally. There's all these candles here. I don't have any chairs. There's a. Honestly, the fact that the, I didn't realize that this was a... I guess he did just tell me this was a prison, so it's probably not going to be a very happy place in here, huh? Oh. Alright. I'll just light. I'll use this tinder box. I'll sit here for a hot minute. Oh, is that a bat? Is that a bat? Is there a bat around? Is there a bat? I, I, I got so excited! <laughs> There's not even any bat around. I was just literally like, oh god. Uh, one of my goals is to, uh, because I notice whenever I laugh, I, like, turn my head down. And one of my goals is when I laugh, I'm going to try to keep looking straight. Alright, I'll, I'll try to keep things moving. I'll try to keep things moving. Okay, maybe it was the wrong time to try to keep things moving. I'm going to put this barrel here. Put a barrel here. Hide for a minute. Hide for a minute. I'm just gonna go down. Uh, how, how much oil do I have? I have a lot of oil. I'm doing well on oil and tinder boxes. I was doing well. I was doing well. It's been a couple of minutes since I played, or a couple of days since I played this game. Like I said, I, I'm not entirely. If you're watching in a in a marathon, I don't think any of you are. I don't really have anybody who's watching this series, except for except for Penny. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> I really appreciate your comments. And also Jabster, I think comments a lot. Thank you very much, Jabster. And there's one more person. Oh, I'll look and I'll talk about them next episode. Sorry, I don't remember your name right now. Uh, maybe I'll I'll look in a minute. Uh, but thank you, Jabster and Penny, and, and third person who whose name also starts with a J. I know you're out there. Oh God, I feel bad. Oh God, is this this isn't real, is it? Oh God, I literally thought that bug, because <laughs> the way it was like climbing on the screen, I was like, oh my God, is that actually on my screen? All right. <clears throat> Somebody dragged dead bodies through. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? What is that? Who's in there? Who's in there? Huh? Is that you? Is that, is that you, a MJ? I don't know why I, I accused Michael Jackson. That's where I assume he hung out when he was alive. I, this game, I, I think it came out when he was alive toward the toward the end. Whoa. I'm not doing well in sanity. Not doing well in sanity. I'm just gonna sit here. I, I didn't play that like most people would play that. A lot of people would probably have been upset by that thing over there. But I was like, no, what are you doing over there, man? Get over here. Alright. Uh, I'm hoping I'm doing good. Sanity, dot, dot, dot. Not doing good. Health, a few cuts and bruises. I have that thing. Wait, I'm not gonna... Improve health and help heal wounds. I just gotta stand near this light. This area looks really here. Good. It's solid. Here's a door. That way, if I have to make, like, an escape... Like, if the monster's coming, I can, like, Looney Tunes it, I can open it up. I'm glad they put this here, honestly. It relieves me. Oh, here's a hammer that they seem to- they appear to want me to pick up this hammer. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, let me sit over here. Sanity. Man, my boy, Daniel's really not doing well right now. He, he seems to be chilling out a little bit now. Oh, uh, this warped screen effect. I love it when my vision goes all warpy when I'm in dark places. I mean, I guess I guess it kind of does if you are in a... I mean, there have been a few moments in my life like where I have been lost in the woods and it is actually hard to make things out. 
and uh, it is, I mean, I, I don't know if they're warping like this, and then of course, like, if you've done, like, drugs or something, they kind of, like, have these sort of effects too, but that's a different matter, he's not, as far as I know, as far as I know, Daniel's not on any drugs, but he did wake up with no memory, so, maybe, I'm gonna keep going, I was, okay, wait, hold on, whoa, super jump, Alright, uh, tinderbox, no, there's no torch in there, now can I open this bad boy up? Open up, motherfucker, I saw you walking over there, and I wanna come and get you. Uh-oh. That was the monster. That was the monster. Bad sound. Bad boy sound. Oh my god, I have a hammer, what does it- <laughs> Okay, I should- I should try to focus. See, that's the thing with trying to play games and do things. Like, I, like you can either get me trying to say things that might actually be appealing to listen to, or you can get me babbling and making a uh, headway in the game. I think this is all new, right? Like, was I already over here? According to this new tender box, this appears to be a new room. Uh, anyone there? Anyone there? Call out to me if you can hear me. I'm going to say Marco. I want you to say Paolo. Marco. Paolo. Who was that? Was that somebody? Paolo. Oh, that's just my eldest, my eldest self. He, oh, he tells jokes sometimes. Yeah, I tell jokes, bitch. Uh, I'm, I'm using way too much oil. Actually, I'm not doing as bad as I thought, and I do have a lantern. <clears throat> or, I mean, uh, some more oil. Some lantern oil. There's a crack of, crack of sunlight coming from over there. Uh, I'm starting to forget, uh... Woo! Okay, alright, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, everybody. I want you to tell my wife and my kids I love them, although I didn't actually think they were ever very talented. Oh! Well, listen to me, Nika, did it. Thank you for watching my series this far. I really appreciate you being here. If you're not subscribed for some reason, please subscribe and make sure to like the video and leave comments. They help very, very much and I'm not getting many of those, frankly. So I would really appreciate me right now in particular. I hope you have a great time watching my Amnesia gameplay. That was, that was great. I'm just gonna have to face him. Oh, he's really scary looking. He's really scary looking. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna have to die. I'm gonna have to die. Come to me. Oh. Oh, it gave me a... I knew he was around here. I knew he was around here. I could hear the sounds. I could hear the sounds. He kind of just, like, let me live for some reason right here. I'm not really sure. Uh... He's, like, right over there still, right? Let's hit that in. This is dead end. I hope he doesn't come into my vision. I hope he doesn't come into my vision right now. I really don't want that in my vision right now. I'm gonna keep creeping to the left. There's my barrel, my safety barrel. Maybe if I get behind my safety barrel, I'm not gonna be able to be seen. I'm gonna try to allure him. Perhaps he's a good mate. Gonna try to turn this on and relax just a little bit. Relax just a little bit, make my way toward this safety light, this safety torch, everything is gonna be fine. Don't have any plan where I'm going right now, in fact this looks to be where I started from, but now I have a hammer, maybe there's something I can do with the hammer over here, now I have a monster chasing me, I'm in a lot worse of a situation than I was a little bit ago, and honestly this is what I'm talking about when, uh, whew. I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know if he is still in this area or not. The music died down, and I'm hoping that is a sign that I'm gonna be okay. Fuck. My sense of direction and these 
goddamn cockroaches are helping one bit. I really don't like that. It's a great thing. It's a great, it's a great effect. It's a great effect, and it really works to make me unsettled. And I'm not appreciating it, uh, appreciative of the fact of how unsettled it makes me. Okay. I don't want to be in the dark right now. I was making Looney Tunes jokes last time I was over here. I was so young. I was so innocent. God. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm really not making any headway here. I have a hammer. I have a hammer. It's really the only information I have right here. So I went... I think I have to go up the stairs. When I went up the stairs is where I saw the monster the last time, I believe. And this is where I saw him. So here's another thing of lantern oil, because they know you've been running around like a little bitch right now. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put one thing. I guess I'll just put them both. There's no reason not to have them in. Uh, as long as it makes it filled all the way. Or it doesn't make it filled all the way. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, um... Part of the reason why I wasn't playing this game for a little bit was because I just genuinely was very scared. And I was like, do I feel like being scared right now? Uh, so this is where they kept the prisoners, eh? Doesn't seem that bad. I swear to God, if I find one of Daniel's like diaries, he's like, oh, I was just hanging out here. Where did she go? Is that something else? Is that like a torch? What is this? this Picked is up no chipper. For a young girl all by herself. I have a hammer and a chipper. Those no two things seem to go together. Down there. Uh. Yeah, I have an idea. Get the store open. Hopefully, no grotesque monsters looking at me. Oh wow! First of all, is there like a something I can light? Is there something I can light around here? There's something I can light. Come on, come on. Barrel contains less than heavy lanterns worth of oil. I mean, uh, I wish I didn't just use that right there. I can't like put it back into things like a jar, can I? No. Um, I just have to remember that there's some lantern oil here. In the, it's in the prisoners, in the, in the prison on the second level, there's some lantern oil. Hopefully I can remember that. Uh, okay, good, a cool breeze. It's a cool breeze. And honestly, my boy here is probably a little bit hot. He's been running around with the monster. It's very grotesque looking. Don't like how grotesque looking the monster is. That's my primary my primary complaint about it, if I had to say, honestly. He doesn't really run that fast. They're being really generous with the lantern oil. I actually feel like I'm being too careful right now in the game, and I'm sorry about that. I can probably actually afford to, uh, to just, like, run around more freely than I am. Oh my god, I literally have the worst sense of direction. As you guys all know, this is why I do the uh, the chairs on the tables. It's my safety barrel, move that into position in case I have to outrun the monster, do some tricks on him, I'll stunt on him, you know, you know what I'm saying. Alright, open this bad boy up. <clears throat> I could, I could, if I lure him in here, I might be able to like put the bucket on his head, but then he would have all that long like chin thing. Alright, so that memory happened in this room. There was a mother and a daughter being held here, and the daughter escaped through this hole. That's so sad. This is where the the people that that man was going to go capture, and he was paying him 
and his men to go capture men, women, and children and bring them to this prison. Maybe the ghost will help me out. He'll just like make the hole bigger because he seems to just love changing shit around. I'm very aggravated. Is there like a... I still have... Oh my god, I still have this shit. I'm so sorry, guys. I, for some reason, I thought it was like some video games how you just like don't have things anymore after you use them. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I'm so stupid. Maybe I'll, I mean, maybe I'll delete that part, uh, just to save us some time, so you're not looking at me running around for a little bit. Alright, so can you imagine that poor little girl? So this is where that little girl went through when she was, when she was all alone, she just was separated from her mom. She came to this fork and she probably didn't know which way to go, just like me. Uh... Never mind. She probably went this way and was like, fuck, that's the wrong way. Or she was the one who dug it. That's so sad. That's even more sad. Okay. So she made her way over here. God, that poor little girl. I mean, maybe there was, like, actually less scary things going on. Maybe, like, this, like, phantom wasn't here yet and it was just the men around. Which makes it a little bit less scary than what's happening to me. Yeah, that little girl actually didn't have it as tough as I thought she did a moment ago. She, uh... This is where that robust lock was, so on. This is where I saw the monster walk by a little bit ago. Hopefully it didn't get that little girl. Uh... Storage. Sounds safe. Alright, let me take a breather for a second. It's been 22 minutes. Headband check. Uh... All right, keep going. <sighs> kitchen? That's it's horrible. I do not want to see the kitchen in this place. Storage. I'm gonna head toward the storage. That's where I was headed towards when I left. And when I was following the other side, at least. Storage. Storage. I'll go this way. I was gonna go the other way, but you know what? Maybe I don't need to go there right now. Some gears here. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. How far above do you think the light is there? Like how far? We're very far underground, aren't we? Ooh, I want to go on that staircase. That kind of looks like a fun staircase, don't it? And my turn into like a slide, and I can just like wish my way down. That'd be fantastic. The monster, we can go all Scooby Doo on the monster's ass. <clears throat> Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. Uh, very relaxing. Just imagine later we can go home and we can actually do things that we used to enjoy. He escaped. Where is he now? Him. Did I get him? Did I get- I think he fucking worked. I think the chair actually slowed him down.
Did I just loop around, my boy? Oh god, I don't know where I am. This is the worst area so far. This whole area looks the same. I'm literally not able to, like, get my bearings. That's where I came from. That's where I started the whole thing, I assume. Oh, sniff. This looks new. This, this place seems kind of nice, don't you? I should probably shut the door. He's probably gonna come in right behind me. Look at this. I got a whole little... Like that almost looks edible, maybe. Cook it. Cook some apples for myself. Some apple pie, maybe. Here's what appears to be a vat of acid. <gasps> no, okay, yeah, no, I really called that one. Alright, I didn't think it would let me... I didn't think it would just let, let, let Daniel pick it up like that. I didn't think it would just let me be an idiot. Was... Okay. But a glass container is an ideal vessel. Do I have any glass containers? No, I guess I gotta go find a glass container. I'm out of oil though. Some tender boxes. Maybe this was this is storage. Like, why is there a vat of acid over there? Who the hell just carries a vat of acid? What is this like 1987? Like, come on, we don't need vats of acid over here. Like. Glass container. Where am I gonna find a glass container at this hour? God damn it. Uh, I guess I just gotta go find it somewhere. It's probably in a different room. Second of all, I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and I'm now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Yeah, it's got to weigh on you for a day or two, huh? Let's go find that glass container so we can pick up some acid. Acid just apparently plays a very heavy role in this uh, in this time period. I mean, I guess I, it's plausible. I, I suppose that's just, uh, so is that where I came from? And then I literally just never went that direction. That's the one that won't budge. Okay, I understand. I did go that direction, but I didn't go up there. And then so I came out from over here. I saw the monster. I made my way over here. And I don't have much oil that just dawned on me. Mm. I shouldn't be using my oil like that. It's definitely storage. I see too many signs about storage. Or maybe... Maybe this is storage? It seems just like a cell to me, but... Maybe not. Let's check this one quick. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates, gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, 
and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Okay, so still making my way to storage. The monster's probably gonna make another appearance soon. Here's a glass container, glass container, glass container. All right, picked up glass jar. I'm still doing well on tinder boxes. I'm not doing as well on oil. The monster, he used to be kind of fun to hang out with. Uh, he was kind of, he was kind of dumb. Honestly, when I first met him, he was telling bad jokes, cracking the smile here and there, but then he lost his jaw and uh, everything just kind of went downhill from there. Kind of blame me for it. I don't know why, but uh, just be just because I was the one who swung the hammer and actually took off the job. But you know what? That's not. It could have been anybody. I lost my memory. How do I know it was me? Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, dummy! <laughs> don't come at me when I have a chair near me. All right. So now I have to go back to that other room because now I have a glass jar. In that other room, I definitely remember where it is. That was my my chair. My chair. No, I know. I know where I'm going. I still shouldn't be, uh... I might have lied a moment there. Got a moment ago there, guys. I might actually have no idea where I am. Come on. I swear to God, if I actually get all the way back to the... Oh, it is. It is right here. It is right here. I knew it. I knew it. First try. Perfect yeah. sin. I do if I were Daniel in this situation I'd just be sitting here eyeing that vat of acid like it's my last goddamn meal of my life I'd be like baby I got a glass jar and I need your vat of acid to complete me I'm the hot dog you're the hamburger right now vat of acid you hear me god this is rad over here this uh, monster seems to be kind of chilling out I don't see him. Is he in the room, do you think? No, he's way over there. Look at that, he's so far away. I'm gonna go over here, close that door. Whew. He is unsettling. I don't actually know what I need this, uh, this acid for either. Acid just comes into play way, way more than you would think. Got some meat. Alright, maybe this is what I need to disintegrate that rope. That robust lock I saw earlier. I don't even know if I need to do that. I feel like I snuck around it with the uh, with the little girl's passage. Would you know good? Okay, yeah, so because I, I don't need to go anymore anymore. I 
I got a boulder. I'm just gonna use all my energy out. Maybe the monster will see that I'm weak and no good if I use all my energy out now. That's where I just came from. Uh... Yeah, I really don't know what to do with this jar of acid. Hmm. Maybe I should just drink it. It's just, uh, just in case. It's like, uh, like when you put, like, the cyanide thing in there, uh, in the teeth. Is that what you put the cyanide in the teeth when you want to have, like, a quick way to kill yourself, I think? Not that anybody should ever do that, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. That's a terrible thing. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Whoa! This is new. I was like, I was like a naked man. Yeah, we don't actually, this is only like the second or third naked, or not, not naked person, but the person that we've seen. They all were naked so far. Oh, we've seen plenty of dead people. Hey, anybody, help! Christ, I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. I didn't have to go in there. I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. these people are in sad conditions. This is obviously a place that you do not want to end up in. <clears throat> um... Read this letter, Daniel. August, 1839. Thank you. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Alright, I think I'm going to call it an in there for today's episode. And thank you for watching me, as always. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And thank you for watching these. I really appreciate it. Um, leave comments, please. Have a great day. Thank you.